Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. As you know, if you've been watching my channel, weekends are my time to kick back and have some fun by exploring examples of writing that didn't work out too well. Today, we will look at some warning and instruction labels on products. There are some doozies. Let's get into it. You are reading this because you forgot your smartphone when you went to the toilet, didn't you? Yeah, admit it. When you go to the bathroom, you have your phone with you. In fact, you make it a point of taking your phone with you when you go into the bathroom so that you will have something to entertain yourself while you're in there because sometimes we take a while. Not all of our bathroom visits are quick. And the only time you would actually read all of the fine print on a bottle of bathroom cleaner would be if you didn't have anything else to do. I know you do it. I do it. I know you do it. We're all in this together. Machine wash cold inside out. Do not bleach. Tumble dry low. Do not iron decoration. Always wash your butt. <laughs> I don't think that is an instruction that is specific to this item of clothing. I think that is a general life instruction. Two for the price of one. Buy an item of clothing, get the laundry instructions, and, you know, get some life tips along with it as well. And that last instruction is kind of funny as well. Keep away from fire, especially when wearing. So it's like, you know, especially when you're wearing this item of clothing, you have to keep away from fire. But even if you're not wearing this item of clothing, you should keep away from fire anyway. This is one of the wisest instruction labels I've ever seen. <laughs> Apply to wet hair, massage into scalp and hair working through the ends. Rinse thoroughly. Feel free to belt out some horrible 80s tune that you listen to when nobody's around. Whatever, you totally do it. Do you sing in the shower? I've never really been one to sing in the shower. I used to sing while I was driving. This was when I was living by myself and I drove everywhere by myself. I would have my car radio on full blast. I'd have my windows open and I would be belting out those tunes. I would totally be pretending that I was Celine Dion. And I did this all the way until the time I was driving past a pedestrian who was on the other side of the road. And when this guy heard my singing, he looked up in fear is the only word I can use to describe it. He looked up in fear. I think he was either worried about himself or he was worried about me because I probably sounded like I was being murdered by 10,000 cats. To this day, if I try to sing, my older son goes, no! And I say, what's the matter? Can I sing? And he goes, no, you're making me sad. So I'm probably not winning a Grammy anytime soon. The dream has died. Oh, this one also has washing instructions and life instructions. And the life instructions are labeled. Okay, so washing instructions, machine wash, cold, do not bleach, turn inside out, no softeners. Life instructions. Lawyer up, delete Facebook, hit the gym. I love it. I love it when your clothing comes with life instructions. And you know what? Most people don't even bother to read the laundry instructions that come with their clothing. Maybe all of us need to start making an intentional effort to read our laundry instructions because we might be missing out on some gems. Like I'm wondering what my clothing is trying to tell me and I haven't been listening. No one ever listens to me! This is great advice. And it's made with 100% unicorn feathers, so... Score! Okay, so this one is for totally natural pet shampoo. Remember to eliminate all escape routes well in advance. A tip. Once your pet is slippery wet, he or she is suddenly smarter and faster than you are. And you know, sometimes it doesn't even take shampoo. Sometimes all the dog has to see is the grooming brush. So my mom had this dog named Blondie. It was actually my aunt's dog. And then when my aunt went into care, Blondie came to live with my mom so that she would have a safe place to be. And by the time my mom got her, she was already old. You know, she was an old lady the whole time she was with my mom. And she was very skittish, Blondie was. She was very nervous, especially when people picked up an object anywhere around her. She would be very kind of, uh, I think she had some trauma at one point in her life that sort of wrecked her trust a little bit. And the dog groomer would come and, you know, just in my mom's living room, she would get out the grooming brush and just give Blondie a good brushing down and, you know, put some stuff into her coat to condition the fur and all that kind of stuff. 
and Blondie being an old lady was a little bit rickety on the legs she was a little bit unsteady you know she had trouble getting up and down stairs and stuff like that but holy smoke when that groomer showed up Blondie was suddenly as nimble as a puppy it was really funny so Blondie had her final grooming when I was in South Africa I was there with her and I was kind of holding her and petting her Blondie and I got along great we had a very nice bond she actually ended up enjoying it she looked absolutely fantastic and then she died maybe a week not even two weeks later hey if I don't put a smile on your face there's got to be something wrong with your face go see a doctor otherwise slip me on and wear me home I'm machine washable and tumble dryable but I don't like irons and bleach makes me crazy I'm 9010 cotton poly and made in Mexico from US parts well, there's a cheerful label. It gives you the laundry instructions and it's telling you to be happy. I want to get this item of clothing just so I can have an instruction label like that. Danger, do not hold the wrong end of a chainsaw. <gasps> okay, what incident made that instruction necessary? Ugh. Especially while it's running. <laughs> I feel like something bad must have happened where someone got hurt and then sued the chainsaw company. And now the chainsaw companies put these instructions on the chainsaws just to avoid liability. Who holds the wrong end of a chainsaw? Every night before food, once daily, to be taken four times a day, three times a day, every three times daily, take one, take two, take three, one or two. I, I really hope this is not medication that is actually keeping somebody alive. So let's first recognize the fact that this is children's Benadryl. Children's. It is for kids. Avoid alcoholic drinks. Alcohol sedatives and tranquilizers may increase drowsiness. Be careful when driving a motor vehicle or operating machinery. If pregnant or breastfeeding, ask a health professional before use. We didn't have this class of medication when I was growing up. This makes my childhood look incredibly tame. <laughs> Touching wires causes instant death, $200 fine. But do they fine you before you die or after you die? Like, do they stand there while you're kind of twitching and, you know, doing your... Or do they wait until you're dead and then just take it from your wallet after you're dead? Inquiring minds want to know. Are you going to be a weirdo? Thank you. I'll take your cake. That was mine. I I wasn't bringing that. I was. Well. Should I eat the cake? Caution. This wall is made of brick. Punching wall can and will cause serious hand injury. <laughs> What about the brick wall, though? Will the brick wall be okay? I have never punched a wall made of brick because I am not a complete idiot in spite of what some people might think. But I did once fall into a concrete wall and kind of on my face. And that was not pretty. I looked a little bit bashed up for quite a while. I'm not too sure how it even happened, but my face was dented. Instructions for use for a hairdryer. Do not use while sleeping. How do you use a hairdryer while you're sleeping? I guess if you're sleepwalking. I guess some people can actually do things while they're sleeping. I used to sleepwalk. I haven't sleepwalked for a long time. I never try to use a hairdryer though. I don't think my cognitive function while sleepwalking extends to that level and if it did you're probably not going to care what the instruction label says area of evacuation assistance instructions alternate exit to the left then right then left then right then left to exit who's going to remember instructions like that in an emergency who's going to remember instructions like that anyway that is confusing checking baby's diaper and there's a picture for yes and a picture for no who does that who just goes in with their entire arm and goes 
this is like just shove your arm in and if it connects with something soft then you know the baby needs a diaper change you know when my kids were finally potty trained it seemed to take forever it probably didn't it probably took the normal amount of time but it felt like it was forever and when the kids were no longer in diapers for the longest time when i was in the grocery store i would deliberately walk down the diaper aisle just so that I could have the pleasure of walking past the diapers. That gave me actual joy to be able to do that. Okay, so this is a washing machine. Do not put any person in this washer. You know what? I feel like that's actually a valid instruction because kids do some messed up things. I would imagine in some families, maybe some kids do things like that. Maybe this is for the benefit of kids. Caution, do not could do not swallow. <laughs> Look at the picture. <laughs> the guy's got the hanger going out of his neck. <laughs> oh my gosh. I am pretty sure if you swallowed a hanger, it's not going to look like that. And you're not going to be just standing there casually with your neck in the shape of a hanger. <laughs> that is so funny. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please consider subscribing. During the week, I give writing tips and my informed opinions about writing related topics. And on weekends, I just want to have fun. Have a great day, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video.